Um, so I just thought I'd do an update today because this morning was not so great. Um, it was a bit of a blast from the very recent past, um, pre Ritalin. Um, so what happened was, um, I had some food out, um, not locked away. So, uh, for anyone that hasn't watched the whole load of these videos, um, I, I use timer locks to lock my food away, um, so that I can't eat it at certain times of day to help well basically to control me um and i used to use it all the time uh because i com felt completely out of control around food now i only use it overnight um between the end of my evening meal and then the start of breakfast because um i have had a lot of problems with eating during the night and if i do that then it throws everything off for the day after and now that I've started Ritalin, I'm very, very aware that the early in the morning and then last thing at night are the times when my body doesn't have the Ritalin at very high levels or at all in my system. So I'm using the lockbox as like a safety net just to stop me doing eating disorder behaviours at the point when the drug isn't high enough. Um, so last night um was kind of an advert for why all of that is really necessary still um i l had some food outside of the lock boxes just for silly practical reason i was going to take it to work and leave it there so that i had food there i forgot to take it but i'd already done the locks so it was out um i at the moment i'm still setting an alarm for two hours before i need to wake up so that i can take my first dose of ritalin so that it kicks in before i wake up because otherwise that period for an hour or so after i wake up is almost inevitably it's it's just yeah it's disaster zone eating disorder wise i i wake up and all i can think about is food and it's not hunger it's just something else um and it, it's very very difficult to control so um typically i would wake up have my ritalin go back to sleep for a couple of hours and then wake up and it's in my system and the it's a huge huge difference this morning i did that but i woke up just half an hour after my first alarm had gone um so quite a bit earlier and i was awake and I had the food cravings and just the impulsiveness, the kind of um, inability to stop the runaway train. And it felt just like it's always felt. And so I ended up having, I wouldn't call it a binge, but it was a lot of food I didn't need. Um, and just, I guess it was hard and I was quite down about it afterwards because it was like being yanked back to pre ritalin state and how I felt in the last week has just been like, it's been, I literally don't have the words for how different I feel and being kind of thrown back there like that uh was just it was kind of scary because it, it makes me i'm really scared that this isn't gonna last i i'm just it's too it is literally too good to be true it feels like there was like a giant jigsaw piece missing in my head that has just been put back and um i'm scared <laughs> so yeah um and what it looked like, you know, I, I had the food and it just, it just reminded me of what my experience with eating was, like used to be before the drug. And it, it's much more frantic and more just faster. And I'm not enjoying it. I'm not, there's no satisfaction and there's no, it's very rarely a kind of, natural stop point like it, it would be really often that the only way i'd really know how to stop is if i had set a specific portion size um and knew i should stop but i would still be f 
choosing to knowing I actually like felt like I wanted more food or it would be that I was just so uncomfortably full that this must be the stop point but often I would get to that point and I still wouldn't be satisfied I still want more but it it was like oh well, you know I have to stop because otherwise I'm going to feel horrible and sometimes I would and sometimes I wouldn't and just having experienced what I think actually might be a normal experience where you eat an all amount of food, feel satisfied and then are able to stop, it was just quite scary being yanked back to that place and the thing that scares me is that having experienced normal, I think, and then going back to where I was, I can now see why the eating disorder was there and I also am not sure I can see how I can have that experience around food and get better like if that if there's a chemical difference there that is you know means that that is how I'm always going to experience food then I feel like me thinking I could recover was kind of deluded because I uh, yeah, I guess maybe I maybe I have less trust that if how I feel now doesn't stick on the drugs doesn't stick, then I'm really scared of going back there because it's like I can see it for what it was and for the kind of for the trap that it was. I have no idea how to. Anyway, I'm I'm stopping because I don't have a good reason to think that the drugs will stop working. It's just such a profound change that. It makes me scared it won't stay but fingers crossed and everything crossed that that will never happen um so we'll see <laughs>